Hi, welcome to the second video on the Name and Shame campaign in association with dwpcorruption.co.uk and we're pleased to announce that we're back on air and back in business. I would like to promote Brian Gerrish and the UK Column newspaper that is informing people of common purpose and infiltration into government bodies that affects you, the general public. In recent research, I have found that the DWP have spent over £240,000 on common purpose to teach their own staff how to be corrupt, and bonuses paid for the person that can be more corrupt. Brian Gerrish has authored many videos and provided us with factual information pertaining to abuse of power, or in solicitors' terms, malfeasance with a theme of criminal activity involving some 33,000 government bodies that range from the Department of Works and Pensions, Job Centre Plus, local councils, the Government Ombudsman, the Information Commissioner and the Law Society, the list is endless. The Solicitor's Department of the Department of Works and Pensions is involved in unethical practice to cover up mistakes and blunders that affect you, the general public. In my own case, with the Department for Works and Pensions, my intention is to name and shame the corrupt solicitors that work from the Tothill headquarters in London. Ronald Pell, Michael Patrick and Nigel Fisher, who are three of the corrupt bodies within the DWP Solicitors Department that are affecting people's lives and creating devastation. And we believe from their actions they are part of common purpose. And if you, the general public, know any other per any corrupt civil servants, we would like to hear from you. Within that 33,000 corrupt bodies, a substantial amount of these people are MPs who are only providing a lip service to you, the general public, and your complaints are not being heard, being listened to. I have personally gained through my own experience and can inform you that the waste disposal system created by our MPs in looking at your complaint is there just to fob the general public off. And it gives us no resolution or remedy to our complaints. And these people just providing a lip service to you, the general public. Your complaints are not heard and the information that you provide is nothing more than ignored. The government talk of transparency and to be open. I'm honest myself that provided information for the government to look at, inform them of the corruption within their own departments and have been totally ignored by my MP and just thrown and sat up the corner. Richard Thomas, the Information Commissioner as Office and Nigel Fisher acting corrupt for the Department for Works and Pensions have been part of a theme that affected my case personally. Anne Abraham was the senior ombudsman who was now infiltrated and being transferred to the appeal system. My experience found that these people work together as colleagues and the word can only be used as cronyism to support and back up any corruption that these people get involved with. This is an annoyance to our corrupt government and the fact that the people, the general public, uh, are not being listened to and being whitewashed. I would like to invite you to send in your emails highlighting the corrupt government bodies that you have dealt with and, being part of, and be part of this campaign to name and shame the individuals who have affected your lives. My personal campaign will start next week by giving out leaflets within the Dudley Borough that will highlight corruption within the Dudley Council Finance Department and its known common purpose perpetrators, including Ian Pearson for Dudley South. I suggest that if you have a problem with your MP and you have the facts to support your problem and your concerns, you too should name and shame the MP for only providing that lip service, as at the end of the day, your complaints will not be listened to. What I would suggest is that you remember there is no it's, no buts. Corruption activity within the government bodies, including the Department for Works and Pensions, is a crime. You have rights and it's up to you to shout and obviously make, uh, make yourself listen to. The aim of this video is purely to name and shame and for us to be able to bring the corrupt civil servants to book and implement, implement misconduct issues against the corrupt officers who will be naming and shaming in the coming weeks. We now invite you to blog this information to all your friends and families 
and work together as one. And I myself intend to purchase some bulletproof vests so that I can't be shot on my doorstep. That might seem like a joke, but from what we've learned with the EU, with the EU truth side, anything is possible. And these people just want to shut the general public up and they want to take your say away. They don't want transparency, they do not want democracy, they want to use nothing more than bully tactics to shut the people up. I can clarify that our website, dwpcorruption.co.uk, has been shut down for the third time by Phil Fisher and Waterhouse. This, using bully tactics against Pipex, the website server, who they are threatened with prosecution. Ironically, to date, I have never been threatened with prosecution, and it appears that the Department for Works and Pensions and Job Centre Plus have a fear of doing this to me, obviously because I have the information to back up and support my theory and also my experiences that rely on corruption within the government bodies. Just to clarify, the information being broadcast falls in line with the 1996 Defamation Act, as all information is factual and can be supported by substantial evidence. I would like to invite you, the general public, to email me, and I reiterate and keep repeating this because it is most important. Send in your complaints, send in your point of views, and email us or email my secretary, and she will guarantee that I'll get a chance to look over your information. On closing, if you are offered a laptop computer with the identities of personal details of our Navy personnel or claimants within the DWP, it is being sold to you by a criminal. Not the sort of criminal that you would expect on the high street, but within our DWP and Job Centre Plus offices. These are the infiltrators who believe in common purpose and a part of common purpose that are affecting your rights and anything to do with your claims. The waste disposal system that is offered by our MPs, especially in my case, Ian Pearson, is that you take the complaint to the government ombudsman. You've guessed it. The government ombudsman is part of common purpose, and therefore your complaint is not listened to, it's not heard of. In other words, it is corrupt, and these government bodies act within one another's interests. What I would suggest is that you, you get in touch with the site, give us your complaints and maybe we can push these complaints through our system and make people well aware of the malfeasance that affects you and the general public and that common purpose can become not a thing of the past because I think it's a thing of the future, but we can all recognise common purpose and see for what it is with the infiltration within our government bodies. You people out there are being affected by common purpose at levels that you would never believe. Check out common purpose websites. Email EU Truth. Get in touch with Brian Gerrish. Look at papers, look at the newspaper, the column, and I'm sure that you'll become aware that it's a much more frightening and frustrating subject than you would have ever believed and that you cannot trust our government and government bodies and certainly can't, can't trust your MPs. Upon leaving, what I would say is, how do you know when your MP is telling a lie? He opens his mouth. Just a joke there. I look forward to providing you with another video within the next couple of weeks that will highlight the system and the MP and the line of inquiries that the MP pushes you through as a member of the public to bring you to that dead end, that waste disposal system that has happened to ourselves. And once you reach that waste disposal system, your complaint cannot be remedied and it cannot be analysed, it cannot be looked at, it is merely pushed under the carpet. I would like to take the time to thank you for listening to myself and listening to the evidence and the information that I'm providing to you on my own experiences and can clarify once again with the 1996 Data Protection Act there is no libelous comments or information with on this site and everything can be supported by factual evidence. Much appreciated. Good night.